Hello everybody and welcome to the Trey Station. I'm Tracy. Today we're reading Elmer by David McKee. Um, yeah, so if you don't know this story, Elmer is about a patchwork elephant and this is one of my favorite stories. <laughs> and I know I say that about all my stories, but they're true. I mean, they're just great. So when I like it, I say it. Whoever you are watching me, hello. I can't see you unless you type in a little hello. So make sure you come in and say hi so I know you're there and I can say hi to you, okay? Um, these are my elephant ears and my trunk. You like it? You like it? I'm gonna thank my camp friends, Zaria and Vicky. Hi, Ellen, um, for helping me color in the squares. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I always try to, you know, um, make myself related to the book. So hopefully, you know, you can't really see my mouth, but it's there. <laughs> I had to have a trunk. How could I not have a trunk? Anyway, um, sorry, I'm running a little late. Um, no, how could you? This book is, it's just amazing. So again, this is Elmer. Um, and he's about an elephant and an elephant is my favorite animal. I love elephants so much. So let's get started. Let's never forget either. Yes, I got your pun. Um, all right, so let's get started. If um, you're just coming in, I'm Tracy um, from the Trace Station. Welcome if it's your first time. If it's, your, if it's not your first time, thanks for um, coming in and staying true. That's the best. I hope this time is better for everybody. I know I'm running a little late, sorry. My um, AC blew, <laughs> so my plugs blew. I had to run down and um, fix my fuse box. Anyway, so anyway, we're here, and um, the trunk is the best. Thanks, isn't it cute? A little fun, just a little fun. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'm excited about this book. This book was actually, oops, was in the school that, um, doing summer camp for and I don't remember ever reading it I mean maybe I did but I just loved it so much so that's why we're doing it so thank you um about my trunk yay uh anyway I want to give a big shout out to all my peeps out there hello everybody hello Janine how you doing girl um and that's it so I'm going to start the book thank you <laughs> All right, so this is Elmer. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy. And almost all were the same color. all except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. How cool is that? Isn't he beautiful? It was Elmer who kept the other, the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. It is Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? He thought, no wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. Where did he go? As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until all the berries fell on the ground.
Then Elmer laid down and rolled over on the berries this way and that way. He picked up the bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. How boring. <laughs> On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. There's Elmer. <laughs> In case you couldn't spot him. And as he stood there, Elmer felt something was wrong. But what? He looked around, same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent, and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted. Boo! <laughs> I hope you jumped. The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here. Huh, to share all the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. Look at how cool. Look at all those elephants. Isn't that awesome? Oh, so cute. More color, the better. That's what I say. And that's the end of the story. Isn't this beautiful? Be yourself, guys. Don't be afraid to stand out. Thank you. Um, yeah, I had a couple of things plugged in. I was telling everybody and I blew a fuse. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you liked this story. I thought this story was so cute. Um, I thought it was great for any age because especially now, like with kids there, everyone's like afraid to be themselves and stand out and everyone wants to be the same. How boring. Stand out, stand out and stand proud and raise your freak flag. <laughs> be different. It's fun. And that's it. That's all I have. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I hope to see you next time at the tray station. Next week, we're going to um, read, we don't eat our classmates. That's a dinosaur story. So I figured we would do that one next week. Um, and that's it. So again, if you're here and I didn't say your name, hi, Mike. Hi, Lorenzo. If I didn't say your name, um, shout out because I can't see that you're there unless you type hello. Um, 
otherwise I don't know that you're there. So I had my student was here, but I don't know where he went, but Moyet, if you're there, hello, sweetheart. Um, they had Facebooked me privately and asked if I was starting. Anyway, it was really sweet. Um, so all my cuties at camp, hi guys, hi. And all my people here, hello, hello, hello. Um, and that's it, I know that my nephew is going to be watching later. So what's up, Deshaun? Um, and that's it, guys. So I hope, hope, hope. Thank you, Yanita. You're amazing. You're amazing. Isn't this trunk awesome? I really like it. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to do that? But, you know, I did it. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the night. Let me know if this time is better. Normally, I'll start right at 7. I know I was a little bit late today. So let me know if this time works better for you and I'll um, keep it here. And if it needs to be a little bit later, that's fine too. But I figured after dinner would be better than, you know, people getting home from work or kids finishing school or whatever. So uh, let me know if this time is better, the seven o'clock. I thought it would be better. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just paper. I love paper. Look at how they, how they move. <laughs> Dumbo. Um, I love paper. I love paper so much. I love what you can do with it. <laughs> buy a costume. <laughs> I buy costumes all the time, but I'm just saying <laughs> I love paper too. And that's it. Oh, and I wanted to shout out to Jack and Sienna too, and Anthony and Rhea and Daisy and little Scotty. Who else? Hmm. Uh, so many, there's so many little ones in my life. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, all right. Have a fantastic. Oh! Trunk. Oh, I won't. Don't forget to pack my trunk. I was just about to say Grayson and Tristan. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Thanks for coming in. You guys all rock. I will see you guys soon. And that's it. So tune in next time at the Tray Station, 7 o'clock, Wednesday, where we eat. We do not eat our classmates, which is a great story. You're going to love it. Um, and that's it. So you guys have a good night. Take care and keep reading because reading is what? Fundamental. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> have a good night. <laughs>